Hello everyone, Steve here from Imperial Light and Magic and this is a demo for Mike in the UK who has purchased one of my um, simple MP3 single trigger Wookiee amp systems. Uh, very, very simple indeed to use. This is my own personal um, Acre MR1505. It's painted white because I use it in my TK suit. So I'm just going to simply turn that on. Um, I've got my own three and a half mil, uh, just a little short jack lead plugged into the player. Uh, the player itself is switched on by the little power switch. I'll try and get that in the camera there, just about you can see in the corner of the screen. So simply flick that to turn it on. You can see the light starts to flash and the system remains silent until you press the button. Uh, as you can hear, this system will go very, very loud indeed. Well, it may not come across particularly well in the camera, but um, it really is. As you can probably hear that that was... Uh, uh, I was trying to speak in a normal voice so that the camera would not sort of compensate for the difference in volume. And you, I'm sure you can hear that it's, uh, I mean, I've, I've got it on a, a, a fraction of the volume, absolute fraction. If you do need, even need to go more, um, on here is a little plus button. Hopefully you may be able to just about see that here. Um, this is a, a volume control on the actual player itself. So you can independently control that to help uh, help with your volume uh, if uh, if that's needed. So I'll give you a few more lines. Uh, as I say, stay silent until you push the button. Nice and loud. Really, really clear. Uh, yeah, extraordinarily loud. Um, as hopefully that's coming across. Anyway, um, so that's how the player itself actually uh, works. The only other thing you need to do, let me just turn this off for the moment and unplug it from there so I can hold it up to the camera. So you have a little plug here, which is detachable from the MP3 player. Please don't hold on to the cables to pull it apart. Always hold on to the actual plastic. So that means that the wire, the actual trigger wire itself, which as you can hopefully see, is very very long it's about a meter and a half meter and a half or so so easily enough to fit down inside your sleeve and then you know down to to your waist it'll probably go and uh, obviously then you can have this player wherever you want typically um because it's got a little clip on there i do suggest people just tuck it into the uh the neckline of their t-shirt or something like that and the speaker then obviously if you've got a longer three and a half mil jack you can put that wherever you want but again, for effect, it works best if you've got the speaker at least somewhere near the mouth of uh, of your suit. And of course, this can be loaded with any sound you like, uh, not just Wookiees, um, but anything uh, like a Jawa, for example, would work just fine. There is one um, minor idiosyncrasy, in, idiosyncrasy about these MP3 players I do need to tell you about, and that's about charging. So um, they charge via a, a USB mini B plug, um, this one here. I'm not sure that's going to focus entirely well, but you hopefully can see which style of plug that is. I don't include a cable because I don't get cables um, when I buy the, um, the actual sort of main parts in, unfortunately, but a lot of people have those hanging around or they're very cheap to pick up. The idiosyncrasy is that you have to actually have it switched on in order for it to charge. Um, you may think that's a bit odd and, and decide not to do that, if you have it switched off and you plug the lead in, uh, the little red LED, which you saw flashing a moment ago, will come on. Um, and you may think it's charging, but in fact it won't be. What it will be doing is acting as a USB um, drive reader or drive device. So you can actually use this to, to read micro SD cards in a pinch. Um, so you must have it switched in the on position in order for the battery to take a charge when you then plug it in. It takes about an hour or so to charge. It doesn't sort of give you any indication that it's full. Um, so just put it on charge for an hour. That should last you four or five hours or so of, um, of constant use. Um, do remember obviously to switch it off when you're not using it to conserve your battery. Um, but that's about it. Um, thanks very much indeed for watching. Uh, Mike, this is gonna be on its way to you in the next half hour or so. So I will send you the tracking information as you requested. Okay, thanks uh, very much for watching everyone. Hope you're all staying safe and well and i look forward to seeing you hopefully all in person before too long all right take care bye for now